Napoli are currently runaway leaders of the Serie A, and at this point, it's pretty much already certain that they're going to finally get their hands on the Scudetto for the first time in more than three decades and for just the third time in their entire history. In addition to that, they just made it to the quarterfinals of the UEFA Champions League for the first time in their history too. The Azzurri are really having one hell of a season, and it begs the question, how did Napoli become so good? For context, Napoli finished third, 5th and 7th in the Serie A in the last 3 seasons. That's just to show you how far off the mark they've been in recent years. To be fair, they were much closer during those years when the Milan club struggled, but Juventus was still so dominant and, even though they tried, Napoli hardly ever felt like they were actually going to win the league. With 11 games to go, Napoli are 19 points clear at the top and that means they could very well clinch the Scudetto in April. And guess what? That only gives them more freedom to focus on the Champions League. And with them having been drawn in what the fans say is the easier bracket, there are actual realistic talks of Napoli reaching the Champions League final this season. How the hell did we get here so quickly? Well, we have to start with the obvious one. The guys have done some incredible business. For just 10 million euros, these guys really got a wonder kid from Georgia who is now absolutely absolutely tearing Italy and Europe apart. Varic Gaila, or Varadona as the Napoli faithful call him, has been one of the most impactful purchases by a club in Europe's top five leagues this season. The 22-year-old really hit the ground running since moving to Italy last summer and he looks like he's going to end the season as the top assist provider in the Serie A. Mind you, he tops that chart while also being in the top three of the highest goal scorers in the league. He's one of the handful of players to have hit double figures for goals and assists in European leagues this season. And guess what? He's also joint top assist provider in the UEFA Champions League. And this is just his debut season, guys. This was absolutely insane scouting business from Napoli. And you know we just cannot talk about Varic Gaila without talking about his strike partner, Victor Osimhen. The Nigerian joined in 2020 and he's always been prolific for the club. He hit 10 goals in 30 appearances in his first season in Italy and 18 in 32 in his second season. But this season, he's been a different beast, a totally different monster in front of goal. He has scored 25 goals and provided 5 assists in 29 games so far. That's 30 goal contributions in 29 appearances. I mean, these are really crazy numbers. The Nigerian marksman, or maskman at this point, is well on course to become Capo Canonieri this season. Now, apart from these two obvious stars of the show, Napoli has also done some really good recruitment all round. They got Kim Min Jai for 18 million euros, and he has been the perfect replacement for Kula Bali. And they also got Zambo Anguiza, who's been such a force for them in the midfield. In addition to all that, they're also enjoying Giacomo Raspadori and Giovanni Simeone on loan. But then, all the credit for assembling these young talents and bringing the best out of all of them has to go to the gaffer, Luciano Spalletti. He was hired in 2021 and he has done such a tremendous job so far. After Napoli failed to secure a Champions League spot at the end of the 2020-2021 season, Gattuso was sacked and Spalletti was hired. He had been inactive for two years before that time but when he got that call, he answered and got back into the coaching business. He started building a team from then and he got Napoli into the Champions League places in his first season in charge. Now, going into the 22-23 season, hardly anybody expected much from Napoli, especially because it seemed like it was going to be nothing more than just a transitional season. They let go of many players, including some who were said to be the spine of the team, like Captain Lorenzo Insigne, veteran centre-back Khaled Koulibaly, richly experienced goalie David Ospina, and the club's all-time top scorer, Dries Mertens. Following these exits and a subsequent replacement with younger and more inexperienced players, many fans thought that if Napoli could finish in the top four, it would be considered a good season for them. But Spalletti had much higher aims. He started sending a message early in the season, both in Italy and in Europe. In their first Champions League game of the season, Napoli beat last season's finalists Liverpool 4-1. 
Then they went on to crush Ajax 6-1 and eventually top the group. They won all but one of their group games and then went on to beat Eintracht Frankfurt in the round of 16 to secure a place in the quarterfinals, where they'll be facing AC Milan, a team they've already beaten once in the Serie A this season. They also annihilated Juventus 5-1 in the Serie A. That was Juventus' worst defeat in the Serie A in 30 years. In the first half of the Serie A season, Napoli already had 50 plus points, making them only the third team to manage that after Juventus in 2013-14 and Inter in 2006-07. This season they have lost just four games, and one of those losses came on penalties in the Italian Cup. That is how invincible Napoli have become this season, and much of it is credit to Spalletti. The aggressive gaffer has really changed the game for Gliazuri. Now they play free-flowing and dominant football, and they're so good at it that they were able to outrun and outpress Liverpool and also dominate Ajax. Spalletti and his technical team have also done a lot of work for Napoli's set pieces. These days, they average a goal from every 16 corner kicks taken, which is better than the average in the league. So even when they're not in complete control of the game, the boys are still able to create a goal out of nowhere. But Napoli's success is surely not down to just the players and the coach. The fans have also been a huge part of the journey. They travel with the team and provide them all the support they need when they're away. And when they play at the Diego Armando Maradona Stadium, the atmosphere is usually bonkers. You can tell that the fans always get the players going. Take Osimhen for example. Whenever he scores, he likes to take off his mask and run into the crowd to meet the fans. That's how much the players feel motivated by the supporters. In addition to that, they nicknamed Varit Schuyler just months after he joined the club and they already had a chant for Osimhen. At this point, it's already certain that those fans will be rewarded with the Scudetto for the first time in 33 years. But do you think that Spalletti and his men will be able to add a first ever UEFA Champions League title to that this season. Share your thoughts with us in the comments. While you do that, make sure to give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and subscribe to the channel too. Also, turn on the bell notification so that you never miss out on new content. We'll catch you in the next one. Bye!